So at home, I get the sort of complaint, Wi-Fi is down, right? And so I have a list of things I do. Um, so, uh, you know, first of all, I check to see if mine is working. Um, and what I find is that often mine's working and then I go check the wired. So I have one wired computer, as I said before, I go check the internet connection from that and I see if that's working. And so that's fine, right? So sometimes uh, it's what they're looking at that's the problem and they blame it on Wi-Fi. Uh, sometimes, as I said before, it's the, uh, the internet provider has a problem. Um, uh, but another one actually, particularly for computers that are a little bit older, the, uh, since we're all on you know, various video conferencing platforms these days, um, the, the codecs, that, that is, the codecs are those things which encode uh, the video signal and the audio signal and sends it across. They're computationally reasonably expensive. So um, usually if you run these things for a while, you'll hear the fan in your computer kick on or something. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's making it work and it's not free. And what can happen sometimes is it's the computer that actually ends up having problems. It starts heating up. It's, um, and if you have lots of other applications open and other things loading down the computer, that can actually be the limit. Once again, having nothing to do with the Wi-Fi, but actually the computer is having a problem. Um, and we experienced that one time in our household where <laughs> people are blaming the Wi-Fi. And in fact, the computer itself wasn't doing so well. And uh, uh, that, that was the problem, not the Wi-Fi itself. So well, once again, it's worth sort of investigating every link in the in that chain. Um, and I have a I have personally a list of test programs that I go run <laughs> to figure out. All right, who's where's the problem? Is there a problem? 